one and oh arena Sabalenka as well and we are awaiting arena Sabalenka who is coming up right now we are going to take a quick break and when we come back there you come on in come on in arena Sabalenka <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to stay with it right here. I'm going to move yep, over. We know you got a sweet tooth. You want all that? The whole bowl is for you, <laughs> Arena. Take a seat right here. Grab a microphone. Thank you so much for running up here. Fantastic performance out there. And by the way, we'll, we'll get to the candy in a little bit. You... I deserve it. Oh, yes, you definitely Preserve deserve that it. that one. I think my team doesn't really think like that, but I think I deserve it. Hey, Absolutely. you're the one that, that was out there winning the match. Tell me about the, that finish and the end. What was going through your mind at the end of the match? Uh, I think it's the biggest win of, of the season for me. And I mean, she played unbelievable. and. Somehow another miracle happened for me and <laughs> I was able to win this match and emotions in the end just show, show, how, show how tough was it. You know, you seem to get so calm in that second set, even after losing the set point and you just seem to dig in. You started using the angles and a little more guile around the court. What changed in your mindset to be able to turn things around? Well, to be honest, on the beginning, I didn't really feel well on this court. I couldn't understand what's going on, how the ball is bouncing. It was too slow for me. But then in the second set, I kind of like uh, calmed down and tried to just think, you know, like what I what I have to do to win this match. So and I was just like trying to keep keep moving, keep keep hitting the ball, keep keep trying to find my rhythm, you know, and that's why I was able to turn it around. Pam Shriver was saying on the broadcast this match was kind of like a microcosm of your entire season. So many challenges and yet you just kept on fighting through arena. Well, what what have you learned most about yourself through this season? I think I did something wrong in life so it's keep happening to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be serious, it's just too much, but it's okay. What doesn't kill us make us stronger, you know? <laughs> so I was just keep keep trying to, like, keep trying to fight and keep, just keep trying, you know, like. You Never know, give up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you think about, though, you have been probably the most consistent player at the top of the game over the last three or four years. Does that give you that little extra confidence, that little extra belief? Obviously, you've got the big weapons. You can win points. You can take the racket out of your opponent's hand. But, you know, does that little extra confidence come into play in moments like that? I don't know. I don't really think like that. I mean, in tennis, everything can happen. It doesn't matter. The ranking is nothing, you know. It's it's. It's it's nothing. You every time on the court, you just have to show your best, and and, and then you will win your matches. So I wouldn't say that it's really giving me any confidence. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish it's good, but not. Well, we love watching you fans here in Fort Worth get to you know be courtside right on top of the tennis. You got to see uh, an NBA game recently. You were courtside for the Miami Heat, right? What was yes. that like? Oh my God, it was just another level. It was amazing to see how how. How they are moving, how fast they are, and I mean, I I was, I mean, I watched the NBA earlier, but I was like really high, and and, and you, you you cannot see a, a, anything from there, but like sitting on the ground, I saw everything, emotions, how fast they are, and it was just unbelievable. I was like, I think we're doing something wrong with my fitness coach. We need to we need to work more. <laughs> Well, you talk about new experiences going to a game like that. I mean, this is the first year that it's in Fort Worth, the WTA Finals. We've been seeing some of the pictures of you guys enjoying a little bit of a things around the tournament before getting started. What have you enjoyed most? And did you get your pair of cowboy boots? Not yet, <laughs> but I'm really thinking about that. I just, I don't know, I like, uh, I like food here. It's really super tasty. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and it's really close to the hotel, so no far walking. And um, I enjoyed the, the um, draw ceremony, you know, like to dress up and yeah. we all look beautiful. I enjoyed it this time. Hey, listen, we, we've, we've got some candy for you. We <laughs> I know. <laughs> it, it's trick or treat. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, Arena. Thanks, you too. Do they celebrate it in Belarus? Uh, not that much like in U.S. Okay. But, I mean, we a little bit. What What would your your costume be? Let me think. Ta mm. Wonder Woman, probably. Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes. Out Out to save the tennis world. A long world. time ago, it was my nickname, you know, like, but. Okay. I think it's time for Wonder Woman to coming back, you know. This is the time. This <laughs> yeah. is the moment. Until then, what's your favorite candy? What would you pick out of that bowl? Mm. I mean, you can have the whole bowl, but from this one, I would take Snickers. I think. <laughs> All right, we, you can, you can. We won't tell anybody. You take that Snickers. <laughs> Congratulations <Thanks. laughs> once again. Thank you so much for joining us, Thank and best of so luck much. the rest of the week. Thanks. <laughs>
Arena Sabalenka, huge win tonight over Angebur in three sets. The fans here in Fort Worth loving Arena Sabalenka.